So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at some more Emerald Coast trophies. Now some of these are slightly older clips and were taken just after the new map released and some of them are slightly more recent. And we're going to start off with a few different trophy kangaroo clips and we are starting off with this clip of me taking down a nine legendary kangaroo. And picking him up he is actually Actually a diamond. This was my first ever diamond kangaroo. I had got so many trolls of these guys. You will have seen in my early access if you saw those videos that I got so many trolls in early access. I had a couple of trolls on the live game and then finally I end up getting a diamond and it's actually the brown fur type which I actually really like the brown fur type. A little bit different looking and yeah he's an actually a decent sized diamond at 506.26 and I was just really surprised and really pleased to finally get my first diamond kangaroo. Like I said after so many trolls and these guys do seem to be the most troll happy species on Emerald Coast. They just seem to love to troll all the time. So it was really really awesome to finally get a diamond down. But moving on to the next clip, and I was actually hunting on my own map at this point, I was actually hunting for rooster deer, and I spotted a group of kangaroos, and amongst them, through the night vision, I saw something that looked a little bit different, and it was this particular level 2 female. Now, I started tracking the group down as I had already spooked them at this point, and I picked up some disturbed vegetation for her, and she was actually a leucistic. Now, I had seen a lot of leucistic kangaroos posted, but I had spent a long time looking for basically any rare kangaroos and hadn't come across any. And this was my first time ever actually seeing any kind of rare kangaroo. The leucistics do seem to be the most common rare for the kangaroos, but they look really, really cool. And there's more than one variant. And we're actually going to get to take a look at several of the variants in this particular video. But finally, she stands nice and upright and gives me a nice clean shot at her vitals. And with the 22250, I managed to drop her on the spot. Now, taking a look at her on the ground, you can see the different colour fur. Sort of white and grey tones and then some darker grey in there as well. So she looks really, really beautiful and obviously stands out from a normal kangaroo. And taking a look at her in the harvest screen, you can see that even more. Sort of patches of different colour fur. It's very almost piebald-like. And then you have the dark tip on the tail. And I don't think I'd actually seen this particular leucistic variant until I actually shot this one. One, and it's a little bit different looking to the ones I, I had seen posted. Really, really pretty. And like I said, it does remind me of more of a, of a piebald than a leucistic, just with the way that you've got the different patches of white and grey fur mixing in there. So really interesting to actually see a leucistic for myself and actually to get to take down my first rare kangaroo. Now, moving on to the next clip, and this time, once again, we have a leucistic female kangaroo, but as you can see, taking a look at it, it's obviously a different variant. Now, this is actually my particular favourite variant for the leucistics, I think. I really, really like it. It stands out the most, I would say, of the different leucistics, because it is mostly white. And taking a look at it here closer on the ground, you can see it is mostly white, with obviously the black nose and the black tip to the tail but it really really does actually stand out really really beautiful looking and maybe a little bit more of what you'd think of as your sort of your classic leucistic you know with the the white fur and obviously still a, a black nose and stuff but maybe sort of more of what would come to mind if you thought of a leucistic kangaroo and i really do like this pattern and i think the black tip tail looks really really cool it just adds to this fur really stunning looking leucistic i'd love to get a male with this this particular leucistic variant because i think it's really gorgeous just looking and it's so cool that there are so many different leucistic patterns for these guys really awesome to actually see and we've seen it you know with the piebalds and stuff and with the different species having different variants of the different rare furs and it's fantastic to see that that happened with the kangaroos and we get to see several different looking types of leucistic 
Now, moving on to the final clip here, and once again, we have another level 2 female leucistic. I seem to only get rare female kangaroos, and I have spent quite a while looking for other rare kangaroos, and all I seem to find are female leucistics at the moment. But we did just drop this one, and once again, we have a different pattern. Now, this one really, really, to me, reminds me of a piebald. And it was interesting to me that this one actually has pink feet. Like, the feet on the other ones were black, but this one has pink feet. But this one, like I said, really does look piebald to me. This is the one that I, I just think piebald every time I see it, but it is actually a leucistic. Because you have the, the grey patch there on the shoulder and arm, and then over the one eye you have the grey patch as well. I really like this pattern. I think it's very, very unique. Again, talking about the different patterns for different rares and the different variants, I think it's always really cool to see. And I really, really, really like this one. It's just so different and not necessarily what you might think of when you think of a leucistic. Like I said, this one almost looks piebald, similar to the first one, but nonetheless looks absolutely fantastic. Really cool to get to see three different leucistic variants for these guys. Really, really awesome. But now moving on to a different species in this video, and we're going to be taking a look at a few clips of some trophy magpie geese. Now, I have gotten quite lucky with a couple of trophies for these guys, starting off with this level 5, which is the first max level magpie goose that I ever saw. And this was actually in multiplayer, and I was so, so excited. And it initially it flew off, and I had to wait for it to come back and actually give me a shot. And finally, I got it down, and it is a diamond. So this was my first ever diamond magpie goose. Absolutely fantastic. And it's the orange colour. Now, I don't like saying plumage type because it's not really referring to the plumage when it talks about the colour. It's referring to the legs and the, the skin around the face and the beak. But it's an orange, and I really like this colour variation. I think they're very, very pretty. And it's a good sized diamond at 3.91 really really fantastic to actually get to see a max level for these guys they are really really cool i love the magpie geese they're fantastic and the models for them are just awesome so getting to see a level five was fantastic and that's not the only level five that i've ended up finding as you'll see in this clip we have another level five coming into land this is at my favorite spot to hunt magpie geese and i tend to set up decoys here in most multiplayer sessions i join it's one of the little sort of triangle shaped mangrove swamps along the river and it's just a really good spot to set up decoys just out away from the mangroves a bit sort of more on the the open grassland and if you just set up decoys there it tends to work pretty well for actually getting the magpies to come in and it worked pretty well here and we have another diamond this time a yellow variant and you can see the difference between the yellow and the orange like i said it's about the feet color and the skin around the face this one is a little bit smaller and only just makes diamond at 3.86 but it's still another diamond. So both level 5 magpie geese that I have seen so far have actually ended up making diamond, which is really, really awesome. And I know these guys can troll, so I'm super lucky that the two level 5s I've seen so far have actually ended up being diamonds. Now, for this next clip, there was a little bit of chaos because I had spotted this particular magpie goose and I was desperately trying to get it to come back in for ages because it had spooked, couldn't get it to come back in. I re relocated my decoys, reset up everything, and finally it starts coming back in. And as you will see, it stands out like a sore thumb because that is a level 4 melanistic magpie goose now i was super excited to see this now if you saw my early access videos you may know why in early access i actually ended up getting a level three gold melanistic magpie goose and you know we didn't get to keep the stuff that we got in early access so i was crossing my fingers that i would end up seeing another melanistic in the live game hopefully the same size or bigger and I got really lucky and actually got one that was even bigger and a really good size gold melanistic magpie goose. Now this is the only rare that I found for them so far and it's just, it is so fitting. 
it's you know like i said i got one in early access and i was really really you know bummed out that i didn't get to keep it and then the only rare that i've seen for magpie geese in the live game so far just so happens to be an even bigger melanistic so really really happy to sort of get kind of get redemption on that and actually have one now that i get to keep in the trophy lodge such a fantastic looking rare so so happy about that now, moving on to the next set of clips, and we are taking a look at some stubble quail. Now, this first clip was actually recorded on release day, and I just have not had a chance to put it in a video with all the craziness that's been going on lately. And it, you'll probably know what I'm talking about if you've seen my recent videos. But this was actually on release day. I picked up the disturbed vegetation of an albino stubble quail, and I tracked this thing down, and I was panicking about losing it, and finally actually got to take her down there with the 12 gauge shotgun and she's a beautiful albino now at the time we still didn't know just how rare these guys would be it does seem like they're no nowhere near as rare as say the albino bob white quail which is what we were all thinking that they would be sort of akin to they're nowhere near as rare as that but they are still a very cool rare to get and i would still say quite a rare thing to find with them being so small and so challenging to hunt and for this to be the first i believe this was the first double quail i shot in the live game and it happened to be an albino that i picked up the track of was absolutely fantastic such a cool bird and i was super super excited to actually get one because at the time the only one that i had ever seen because this map had literally just come out was the one that flinter got during early access and that was so cool to see him get that one and then to you know be in multiplayer on release day and pick up the track of an albino myself was absolutely wild and i couldn't have been more excited when i picked up that track now moving on to the next clip and you may just have been able to make out the fact that I just managed to hit another stubble quail there and it just dropped out of the air and this one just so happens to be another albino that I'm actually this time I actually saw it as it flew by in the flock I thought I saw a paler one and I picked up the tracks and sure enough it was another albino this time it's a male and it's actually smaller than the female that we just shot in the previous clip but again these are quite hard to come across so i was again really really excited to see another one just a fantastic little rare and i absolutely love finding rares especially for some of the harder species to get rares of so some of the small game and stuff like that where it's just harder to find those rares so getting trophies like this is always super exciting for me now moving on to the next clip and i have another rare stubble quail now this time it's not an albino it's the only other rare type that exists for stubble quail and i had never seen a picture of one of these when i had actually found this guy i'd only seen them talked about as being a rare those i'd only seen it like mentioned as existing i'd never seen a picture of one or any posted or any footage nothing so when i finally saw one I knew this was different straight away. It stood out to me in the flock. And it was really, really unfortunate because it spooked off and I didn't get a shot at it. And I spent ages trying to get it to come back to its zone. Finally got the shot on it there. And it's actually a dark brown. Now, this is the only other rare for stubble quail, as far as I'm aware. There is albino and there is dark brown. And this is a gold, dark brown stubble quail. And it looks so cool. Like I said, I've never seen any pictures of them. I still haven't seen any posted. So I don't know if these are just really, really rare or if, you know, because it says dark brown, people shoot them and then don't realise it's a rare. It's kind of like the light brown crocs. I really wish it had a different name, like Dusky or something, because it's really cool looking. Very, very dark feathers on the back and the extra sort of dark orange on the face and in the eyes. It looks so cool. And I think something like Dusky would have would have fit you know a lot better than just dark brown because i feel like a lot of people might have shot these and not realized they're a rare and that might be why i've not seen any posted but these are actually a rare so if you shoot a dark brown stubble quail it's a rare and they seem to be quite hard to come across so that was super super exciting for me really awesome i now have all the rares for stubble quail 
And now finally, whilst hunting Banteng on my own map trying to get some rare Banteng, I picked up a max weights double quail track. And I had the feed zone for it, so I set the time to the feed zone, and the flock came flushing out, and amongst them was a level 3. And this was the first max level stubble quail I had ever seen. It was the last diamond I needed on Emerald Coast. So I saw this guy flush out, and my heart started racing, and he is actually a diamond at 240.61. So not a whole lot over diamond, but a decent way into the diamond requirement. And, uh, you know, I'm just so stoked. The last diamond that I needed for Emerald Coast. And he might not be super massive. Like I said, he's only, like, uh, just over two points above diamond. But like I said, way above that diamond requirement. And that's all that that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it was right on the money for making diamond. It's the last diamond I needed. And he made it. And it couldn't have happened in a more cool way. And for it to be on my own map. And it was just right next to, basically right next to the border in the far south. Well, southeast, I should say. And I was running along that coast hunting Banteng. And like I said, I got the track and the and the feed zone. And he just actually happened to be a level three. I have picked up so many max weight quail tracks and followed them. And it's just been level twos. So finally to get a level three and for it to make diamond was just so exciting. I, like I said, I really love getting the trophies of the small game that are harder to get just because they are harder to come across. You know, hunting small game like this is, is naturally trickier than hunting something like the sambar deer or the rooster deer. So getting trophies for these is really exciting for me. And to finally have a diamond and both of the rares that exist for stubble quail is fantastic. I basically have a complete stubble quail collection now for the Trophy Lodge, which is just absolutely fantastic. I am so, so stoked. I have been really lucky with some pretty nice trophies off of Emerald Coast so far, and I am absolutely loving hunting the map. And I've been, like, I've been sat waiting to post some of these clips, and my backlog of editing has just been getting longer and longer, while, you know, great ones and stuff have been popping up on those grinds. So I'm really, really excited that I finally get to share these clips. And yeah, the, I've just been sat on them waiting to share them for so long. So I'm really, really excited to actually get to share these today. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support. As always, you are all absolutely fantastic. I really, really appreciate it. But that is going to be it for this one. So thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.